Alright, um... I guess I will be tedious and go all the way around since I know the way is clear. There's a guy, shot trooper. It's a good thing he's standing in the open. We can take him out real quick. Real, real quick. Yeah, there might have been more people over here. I don't care to find out what's over there right now. It looks like just the edge of the map. Okay, looks like everybody's healed back up to four this time, so that's great. I'm gonna save Z. I have somebody else advance up behind some cover. And get some better visibility. How about Isabel? I usually don't like her to be too close. Oh, they still haven't noticed us. Hmm. Okay, well, nobody's behind cover, so Z can very safely attacked. There's two mages though, we gotta take them out first. Leave the shot trooper alone. It seems a little weird, but mages are just that good. They can heal. If I don't kill the shot trooper in one fell swoop. So I have her do a dual lame on Z. She actually could chain lightning this guy from way over here and probably hit all three of them. Except I didn't realize that would move her and then stop her movement. She has no AP now. Okay, I'll have this guy move up, and I guess it would be a good idea to use another chain lightning. Unless I want a flamethrower. I think the chain lightning would be better here. Let's see how much damage Duncan can do from afar. I probably want to move him up. Just a little bit. Or he can. No, that's all three of his AP. Oh, wow. I didn't know Duncan had this. This is amazing. I stunned a lot of people. Okay, anyway, a full auto should definitely do that mage in, but it might also... I think he'll be fine with just regular shots, maybe an aim shot. Yep, that gun is amazing.
Wow. Oh, come on. You used your accuracy at the complete wrong time. That's okay, we took care of the first mage, so the rest should be pretty easy. Boy, Lightning, she'd have to do this from where she is, and she can't really get that too accurate. I guess I'll leave it up to Duncan to do most of the damage now. Wow, this guy can actually move pretty far. That was super lame. Alright, good. I think we're all ready. I'll save after I get in here. Yep, I'm as ready as you are. Oh wow. Um, so we can try and do this without Chu. I'm gonna do that. Drain is no joke. I don't want Inspector Chu dying. Or being a, uh, being dead weight in this mission. Or maybe that's not what that option did, because it seems like she's still going to come. Oh, so apparently they already knew we were here. This must be because of the power. No, that, that wouldn't make sense though. Well, anyway, looks like it's time to pull out the big guns because this looks like a pretty formidable team. So this seems like a good time to use some Jazz and Crown. Need to make some of these guys stand up, so definitely want to use Crown. Not unless somebody else has some. Brent does have a Jazz. So I'll have Brent use his Jazz on Z. Z's gonna use his Cram. the bonded spell, make him move further and do more damage. And my goal is to make one juicy target stand up. Maybe more. We'll see. It's 
It's got a 98% on a lot of people, except not the captain. I got the shot troopers out of the way because they stunned me, and that kind of sucks. How does that not provide cover right there? Ooh, that was a meaty hit. Duncan, I think, is going to be our best DPS this mission. I said DPS, I really meant damage. This guy can move a long way, like a really long way. He's the furthest moving mage I've seen. All right, let's see who, who Z can make stand up. I guess let's go for the other shot trooper. Crazy good accuracy. Probably she had to move for that. Well, instead, I could move her here first. And then do the chain lightning. I think this guy will actually bleed out. Looks like he will. That's 21 damage. I think he had 23 left. I'm gonna count on that. Hopefully he just bleeds out. Let's see if I can't stun somebody. Two AP damage with that? Yep, he bled out. Ooh, looks like Z could get a double attack on these guys. I was gonna shoot a grenade launcher, but I forgot. It doesn't, it's not gonna work. Ooh, that captain just took some serious damage. 
Isabel is like legit strong. He's bleeding for 4 per turn, he's definitely, yeah he's gonna die, he's gonna bleed out. He's got 4 HP. It really sucks, I have to hit him again. Duncan's gonna take a nice good shot. Oh wow, that's a 92%. Yep, the other guy bled out. The most impressive army I've ever seen. Oh, and they're already, they already have police on them. Like, they just know they're gonna succeed. Yeah, I thought this was pretty obvious for a long time. Yep, hundreds of people massacred, police brutality, all for a contract. Is this enough proof? More than enough. We do have to secure the location though. I guess. <laughs> yeah, if we can clear the warehouse, everybody wins. They don't have to mobilize their troops.
Come on, don't black out. Oh, I really don't have any spell casting. I don't think I can just take it either. I've been wanting to have a spell casting of one. They really should allow chi casting to be a thing because in reality adepts can, well, I guess they, they need a special perk to see into the astral, but they can see into the astral. Uh, you know what? I'm going to see if this works. Oops. Oh, I can't spend it while in a conversation. Good job. Because that would be kind of cheating if I could do that. Try to revive her. I mean, honestly, she's not well enough to be here. Ah, create herself. Finally get to talk some shit to this woman. So apparently she knows everything. Oh, I didn't get to say anything back? I probably should have sh should have saved all of my uh my patches and stuff for this fight. All right, I'm on it. Yeah, I was supposed to take spell casting a long time ago. But I just didn't cuz I'm like I don't know how much karma I'm going to get all in all. And it's really not that helpful, but now that I realize I can get a, um, a fetish with it um, that gives me an extra willpower, it'd be pretty helpful. But I think the fetish occupies a slot, so that might not be a thing that I want to do. Anyway, let's go do this. Ooh. This looks like quite the zone. And I'm sorry, I cannot remember if I just saved it or not. So I'm going to save right here. Alright, let me see if I can creep and possibly get the drop on somebody in this room.
They might just be waiting for my whole team to get inside to lock us in. There's all kinds of terminals around here. I mean, I guess we'll check out these terminals while nobody's harassing us. Gold contact plates. Arms. Power dock 1.11A, charging control station. Device missing or out of range for slave device. I have a feeling all of these terminals are the same, but I'm going to check one more. Okay, they're basically the same. Alright, I guess I keep creeping. I'm gonna try and get make my way to one of these dragon lines. Yep, I knew they would pop up. Oh. So we gotta fight a Tosh Koma. <laughs> Anybody a uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell fan out there? I might want to ignore the armored spiders um, in the beginning and just go for the mage and the conjurer maybe even the shot trooper man this is gonna be hard with only four guys we can't summon either usually it's a lot easier with more guys but I had to make do all right so this is definitely time for the remainder of the equipment I guess he'll use Toko on Z. So what I'm going to do, I'll have him move up here. He can get a little ley line. Um, You know what? Z has his own toko. I'll I'll let I'll leave that to him. He will use the jazz though for now. I think those tanks could be pretty scary. That was a good hit. Let's see, let me see if this guy can strip his armor. I probably want to save the strip armor for the spider tank, so never mind. I do want to see if it's possible for Duncan to... Give that guy a nice good shot. And the spider tanks are gonna get to me, period. There's really nothing I can do about that. 
man, that weapon is awesome. Alright, so he's got one more AP. I guess this is actually the perfect time to use uh, Stride and Killing Hands. Isabel is where? She's right there. I'll have Isabel post up right here. And she can mark the mage. And then Brent. Wow, he has a really good chance of hitting that mage. Send the chain lightning over. Ooh, that was so good. I got a 23 damage fourth bounce on the tank. Did he just redirect that? Ooh, that looked really scary. 9 damage, 1 AP, minus 2 armor. Oh, they're, they're all gonna gang up on him. This isn't good. Yep, Z is fast asleep. This is not good at all. I can't let them keep ganging up on him. Where's that mage? I wanna try and take out the mage. Can Duncan shoot him? Duncan can shoot him. I'm gonna have Isabel mark the mage. No, he's already marked. I'll just have Duncan try and uh, full auto that mage. I think I can take him out. Alright, I think next up is the shot trooper. Good job. Somehow it looks like I can use the flamethrower again. Oh, it doesn't have a cooldown. That's amazing. How does it not have a cooldown? I thought it had a cooldown all this time. Okay, then I'll, um, I'll go for one of these tanks then. Let's do a strip armor. Somehow that hit. Oh, it's because he's on the ley line. Cause I'm like, how did that hit another person? And the same thing with the other flamethrower. This is beautiful. I never used a ley line like this. This is actually amazing. Isabel should be able to pretty easily grenade this guy. They are still gunning for Z. Come on. Don't do this. Okay, Z's got one HP. He's still alive. Live and kicking right now. I need to get him back and get super healed. Cause I'd rather save the dock wagon for when he actually dies. His last damage was seven. That's not really good enough. So I want to move him 
behind cover and let's hope that Isabel can reach him she's the most supporty person that I have right now that's not where I want her to stand There's really no way I can get her to stand on this side of the box. That's terrible. Alright, well, let's focus fire the guy with the stripped armor. Man, that is so crazy. It becomes zero cooldown and it bounces. Nah, flamethrower is still better. Whoa, I didn't know he could do a full auto like that. Minus 2 AP. So Z's back because of his dock wagon. Didn't want to have to use that, but oh well. Oh my god, he just aimed the whole team? These ley lines are so great. Like, I never really used Gobbit on them because she didn't really benefit that much from them, but like a real mage on a ley line, a mage mage on a ley line is crazy. Z should be able to get back into action now. But just to be safe, I do want to use. Actually, no. Isabel can use a med kit on him. It'll be more effective. And a better use of um, her AP because she's not really that great damage wise. Ooh, he's gonna bleed out if I don't already kill him. Okay, why didn't it? Why didn't we just stop here? What's the hold up? Is there another enemy somewhere? see any enemies at the moment so but I still want to position him while I have the extra AP all 
Okay, another spider type. And yet another spider type. Oh god, reinforcements from multiple angles. This actually looks really bad. My dock wagon is gone. I might have to send somebody over there to get that the met supplies over here. Is there any way I can interact with these terminals though? What about that stupid cred stick thing? I mean, not cred stick, but the program. Alright, well everybody's got a huge accuracy boost and these tanks are very easy to hit. This guy is still on the ley line, so... I wonder if strip armor can affect multiple targets this way. Oh my goodness. This ley line is making him so ridiculously powerful. Wow. Just have Duncan full auto of this thing. It's gonna take him one AP to reload. That was like a good seventy five damage. Can Z hit that from behind cover? Okay, great, he can. No, I want to hit it from right there. I got vampiric kill on a machine. I guess this is actually a great time for him to use this armor. Or I could counter strike with um, this. It wouldn't actually be too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. His health is pretty high. Everybody's attacking Z. I'm glad he chose to use his fist instead of his shot trooper rod. Yeah, Duncan. That did way too much damage to Brent. 
Where did he just heal from? Oh, the vampiric kill. Okay. He has two of them. I think the spider tank, I might be able to take that with Duncan. He still has aim. How much has he got left? 11 HP. Okay, good. This guy is going ham with his flamethrower. 93% chance to hit this guy. I could just use a strip armor and get that huge bonus like before. I think that's the better thing to do right now. That is so ridiculous. Alright, he only has one AP and I think his counter strike. Yeah, it's still on cooldown. If I want to stun either one of these guys, it would definitely have to be this shot trooper. Right here. I kind of want him not like in front of everybody though. There's not many places he'd be protected. I guess he'd be pretty decent over here. You know what? I can position him here and go for those med kits next turn. Splash damage is so delicious. See, this is why you geek the mages first. I love how that guy just keeps shooting grenades at Duncan. Man, and they're still picking on Z even when he's behind cover. And he's still healing a bunch of HP from those vampiric kills. Well, he was wounded 25, so I guess I'll heal. Ooh, it heals multiple people too? Man. A ley line under cover is just like the coolest thing ever. This is so good. Yep, we'll pick up the med supplies this turn. that and I will manage this one Ashley you know what I'll take that too Any 
place I can get full cover. This guy is so low though, I want to see if I can take him out. I almost want to keep the Grenadier alive since he's so happily shooting grenades at Duncan. We gotta take these mages out though. This guy's behind heavy cover, they're both behind heavy cover. Now he's flanked. He's as good as dead now. Let's see if Isabel can't take him out. Man, she's doing. Isabel's putting in work. Oh, I forgot about that guy. That vampiric thing is actually coming in handy right now. Got two HP, bleeding one per round. That's so lame. I always get so close, and they can't. I can't make them bleed out. I might be able to get them with a um, chain lightning though, or just a fireball. Should have stripped his armor first. I didn't do that. No. Is he? He's still behind heavy cover. I guess I'll shoot one and then reload. Z can just go pound on this guy.
he is totally asleep. Another vampiric kill for Z. Let's take this guy out. I guess I can use some of the downtime to reload. Because the enemies are lightened up right now. Reload and heal. Wound at 20. I guess he'll heal him. Well. I want to move back here first. Is that crate? All it takes is one well placed bullet. Just business, right. Um, I feel like this is the opportunity to tell her that she is disposable to Ares and she might actually help us in some kind of way. Oh wow, that's lame. Fine, I've been wanting to take Crate out anyway. Five, five guys. Sorry, our team's still pretty well stocked. I still got a Brent on a, on a ley line. Z can fight the shot trooper. I don't want to attack from there. I want to attack from here. What are you doing? That's the one flaw that adepts have. Like, the one thing this game needs is 
You need to be able to move to a tactical position and then attack. If there's some way that we can do that, this would be perfect. Alright, who's first up? We got two mages and crate with 200 HP, that's a lot. Let's actually give everybody the aim a row. That's not aim. Let's see if I can't mark them first. Armor completely broken, 99% chance to hit. That is a one-shot dead mage. Let's take out the other guy too. I don't remember what tracer rounds actually do. There's less people to shoot at Z now. I imagine crate's probably really, really good. But Z should be okay. He's got two dock lagging contracts anyway. I guess this would be the right time to take some Toko. As a matter of fact, I don't have to come to him. I can I can sit back, bite my time. Get ready with some buffs. Oh, I forgot the shot trooper. Oh no, that's my best asset. I gotta take him out soon. I didn't realize there was a second one. Okay, I need some AoE damage. Trent is asleep with a negative one right now. This is actually looking bad all of a sudden. Duncan can totally full auto. these guys. I wish they had a lot less armor. Trent would be able to do that right now. But I can take care of one though. Let's do this one. He's easier to hit. That's not who I wanted to shoot him with. I can kind of ignore this guy for the time being. Let's see if Z can, Z and uh, Izzy can finish him off. Okay, that was perfect.
couldn't afford to miss that. We might have ourselves another dead full auto mage. I guess I'll reload with the last AP. Brent is back in action. He's still on his ley line, so this would be a great time for a heal. That was a nasty fireball. Let's go for crate now. See if we can't get her stood up. Perfect. She's standing up for a full auto. That was pretty good damage. Oh, I need to reload that still. She has a lot of HP, but I haven't seen her do that much damage just yet. Let's see if Trent or Brent reduce her armor again. Should have stood her up first. I want to see if I can get Duncan the last shot, because that would be perfect. Oh, well, apparently Isabel is pretty pissed off too. I guess. I guess she did kill Nightjar. Alright, we got Crate Security Cart. I have a feeling this still isn't over. Um, what's everybody's HP looking like? 44, 70, 85, 80. So Z's the only one hurt. That's Izzy. I feel like Duncan's gonna be doing damage all day, so I use his med kit on Z. And then I guess this is a good time to break once again.